Hey guys, RC here. I am back uh, just with a little brief tutorial for the new re-release of Kingdoms of Amalur Re-Reckoning. So this is how to unlock a locked chest. First tip, don't put any points into uh, your lock picking. If we take a look at status and skills, do not put anything into lock picking or dispelling dispelling may help out but you know really you can just dispel every you know you could blow up every locked uh, you know chest and then just go get a uh, a healer to dispel you uh, to remove your curse lock picking very easy uh, you will break lock picks but they're cheap just buy a lot and just to kind of show you uh, this is an average chest. I have no skills that you just saw, and I just started the game. I'm in the first dungeon after leaving the starting area, and you see I already have 21 lock picks. I have not even made it to the first town yet. So pick lock, and basically just start wherever it's at and hit the D button, which is your un which is your pick. And what you want to do is you want to look. For this bar as it moves across you want to see how fast it moves does it move relatively quickly is it slow does it start to stutter and the sooner it starts to do that it gives you an idea so let's see what it does all right so it broke real quick so you saw it broke like right here so that means we're basically on the opposite side so let's just move it all the way over and there you go and you saw how quick and smooth it went and once you see where it starts to get choppy let go of the D key and then move a little bit in either direction and literally you should be able to open any chest in the game with one at max two lock picks and don't waste any of your points in that for skills because you don't have many to start with uh, and you only get one per level so you don't get a whole lot uh, just as an off topic on your skills, you really want detect hidden and you want to get up to five points and you really don't need to go much beyond that, but this will give you uh, secret doors. So your hidden treasures are revealed, uh, the way your enemies are facing, which is going to be really helpful if you're going to be more of a backstabbing stealth kill type character, uh, disarming traps and then secret doors. Once you have that, you pretty much have everything in the game. Uh, you do want blacksmithing up to a pretty, you basically want to max that out. And depending on your class, uh, you may want to max out stage, uh, sagecraft. If you're a mage, uh, persuasion, you want to probably get at least three points uh, to be able to you know, open up some discussion options. And uh, stealth, if you're playing a rogue, you'll want a little bit. But again, the backstabbing is few and far between in this game, so even more stealth won't help because the way they have the NP the enemies facing, they basically will always see you except maybe in a handful of fights for the whole game. So again, kind of a waste. Uh, blacksmithing, very important. Detect hidden, probably the most important and uh, persuasion you'll want a few points there and if you're going to work on gems mostly for your uh, a mage character that would be important honestly alchemy uh, you don't need mercantile you don't need because i've read some posts people end up with over two million gold just on nor you know regular gameplay more gold than you'll ever be able to spend so you don't need more uh, that's just going to sit around and alchemy, if you have the detect hidden, all the chests you'll find, all the little hidden hidden treasures you'll find, you'll honestly have probably more potions uh, than you need anyway. Uh, so you really don't need to make any more. So a little unbalanced at the end of the day. But anyway, Lockpicking 101 hopes that helps you out, and we will see you guys later on. Take care. Bye.